Hello, I'm Sue Reed. My paper in the July 2018 issue of DMCN is co-authored by Elaine Meehan, Sarah Arnup and Dinah Reddyhoff. It's a population-based retrospective study of intellectual disability and cerebral palsy, and it was undertaken at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne, Australia. We already know that intellectual disability is a common accompanying impairment in CP that has the potential to further impact daily activities, burden of care, quality of life, effectiveness of interventions and longevity. However, there are few data available describing the neuroimaging and clinical associations with ID or quantifying the additional impact of ID on utilisation of health services and mortality. Using data from the Victorian Cerebral Palsy Register, we found that 45% of our cohort had some degree of ID. ID was relatively more often related to brain malformations or imaging patterns suggestive of perinatal hypoxia ischemia. Strokes had the lowest frequency of ID. Clinically, ID was associated with poor gross motor function. It was also associated with hypotonic or dyskinetic CP. Children with whole body involvement and other comorbidities such as epilepsy, blindness and deafness had the highest rates of ID. Through data linkage with our state's emergency services and hospital admission databases, we were able to show that children with CP and ID had more presentations to the emergency department than comparable children without ID. Furthermore, their emergency department presentations were more likely to be urgent and result in hospital admission. Children with ID were also comparatively more likely to have at least one multi-day hospital admission. Their hospital admissions were more often non-elective, multi-day and for respiratory illness. And finally, survival analysis showed that individuals with CP and comorbid ID had poor survival at all ages. Our study suggests that new strategies might be needed to prevent crisis-driven patterns of access to healthcare for individuals with CP and comorbid ID.